In this video, we're going to multiply a binomial times a trinomial using a multiplication method known as rows. As we do, we're going to multiply the polynomials 2x minus 5 by 4x squared minus 7x plus 3. The idea behind rows is that we multiply exactly like we multiply in arithmetic. So let's write it in rows, lining up like terms, and I'm going to put the longer number, or longer polynomial, 4x squared minus 7x plus 3 on top of the 2x minus 5. Technically, the order we write them doesn't matter, but just like when multiplying in arithmetic, you usually put the smaller number on the bottom, so we don't have to do as much work. In reality, it's the same amount of work, but it doesn't feel as much. Next, we would multiply the bottom right number by each of the terms or numbers above it. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 5 times negative 7x is positive 35x. And negative 5 times 4x squared is negative 20x squared. We then move on to the next term, the 2x, and as we do, we need a 0 for a placeholder. Now we can multiply the 2x by each term or number above it. 2x times 3 is 6x. 2x times negative 7x is negative 14x squared. 2x times 4x squared is positive 8x cubed. The nice part about rows is it lines up our like terms for us as we add them together. We have 8x cubed, then minus 20x and minus 14x squared on both of them is negative 34x squared. Plus 35x and 6x is 41x, and finally we have the minus 15 for our final product. The idea behind multiplying in rows is that we write it out in rows, lining up like terms, and then multiply as we would in arithmetic, multiplying each number or term by each number or term above it, adding at the end to get our final solution.